a look at this one. A class of 31 students has recently taken an exam and the average mark was 81. Ten students received a mark of 75, while eight received a mark of 76. If the remaining students received marks of either 85 or 91, how many students received a score of 85? So let's put this information in a table. Can anybody tell me what I can put here? Let's try not to introduce a new variable. Let's see if we can write this number here in terms of x. How many students received a 91? All right, good. 13, subtract x. We're going to use the same technique that we've used with that last example about uh, the weight of the American football players. We know that uh, the average score here was 81. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 81 from the marks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up all of these numbers. If I subtract 81 from each of the, the marks, what will be the sum? So there are 10 students that were 6 below 81. That's minus 60. 8 students that were 5 below. X students that were 4 below. And 13 minus X that were 10 below. Now, we know that the average mark here is 81. So if I subtract 81 from all of their marks, the average of the, these new marks will be zero. In other words, the sum of these numbers must be zero. So I get that 130 minus 60 minus 40, which is 30, minus 10x plus 4x is minus 6x. This must equal 0. So we can see that x must equal 5. 